Hello, my dears, it's uh, Miki Sakijaki, and welcome to Unseen Trace. Looks promising. Let's see. Oh, GTA for PS1 style. I like it. It had been five long years since Saint's mother had passed away, but the pain and loss were still fresh in her heart. Every year on this particular day, she made a pilgrimage to the cemetery, where her mother lay peacefully beneath the earth. There was a ritual that brought her both comfortable and sorrow, comfort and sorrow, a bittersweet connection to the woman who had given her life. Here I am. I should check with the groundkeeper first, then I can visit mom. Why do you have to check with the groundkeeper first? You need to ask him if it's still okay to visit? I see they have flowers. Hello, sir! I've seen you in a few games before. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. I am here to visit my mother's grave. Click click here for next. Hello, darling. What's your name? I'm Robert at your service. My name's Anne. Are you a new groundkeeper? I used to know the guy who worked here. Ah, yes. I am his replacement. But a lovely day, huh? You look gorgeous. You sound scary and I don't like it. You know, I get very lonely sometimes. That's your fucking problem. Summer nights are cold these days, you know. No one to share bed with. Share a bed with the dead. I don't care. Anyways, you can go now. If you need me, I'll be around. I hope to not need you. Okay. Thanks, I guess. I'll be out there in a second. Like, right fucking now. That's the smallest cemetery that I've ever seen in my life. Okay, which... Stay away from me. Which grave is mom? Would it be this one protecting by the vampires or something? Ah, mom. I love you so, so much that I don't even know which grave is yours. Lovely, isn't it? Wait, what what where's my mom's where's my that's not my mom are you my mom don't think you're my mom 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 i cannot recognize you anymore oh yeah it's been a, it's been a while mom since i came here to see you it's been so long oh there you are mom best my i knew this was yours hi mom i got your favorite flowers i hope you like them i'm fine so far <laughs> Oh no, my car! Oh, the bitch disappeared. Holy Christ, the whole tree fell down? Fuck, everything is in the car. I should get some water. Behind the cemetery is a water well. Why, why, why a water? Why water? You want to throw water in the car to put down the fires? This is already, like, more terrifying than any horror game possible because apparently the villain is not a monster i mean he is but the villain is a human and i don't like it well there's a well do you have a bucket on you well what the fuck is this are these bones Fuck. Oh, hi! What up, sir? Um. I'm going that way. This way. Bye. Bye. I can walk to the city. I don't need this. I can, I can walk. You can just stay there and look at your bucket. Oh, my fucking God. Um. Let's suppose that this was the good ending. I actually have some, um common fucking sense and then I just ran away and then I come back just to show you the bad ending because I already achieved the good one. The good one is right now and I just ran away for my life. Okay, going back to the bad ending because I really don't have common sense and I, I lack brains. Let's go. Hi, Donnie. I'm gonna call you Donnie because was, that was your name the last game that I played. Can you please try to explain what happened to my fucking car? What happened? I was chopping some wood, darling. Do you need some help? Stop calling me 
darling pervert, you chopped the tree and you landed at my car. I need help, yes. You better have a fucking phone so I can call someone. Now what is up with that fucking bucket of blood and bones? Again, girl, brain, did you shove them up your ass and then forgot to poop them out to come in here or something? I apologize, dear Anne. There is no need to be upset. I did not chop the tree. It might have had some bad roots and it just fell. As for the phone, it is in my shack. That I don't want to go inside. Yesterday, someone hit a deer and I had to clear off the road. That's the reason why there is a bucket with blood. Too many things to do all on my own. Sorry. Right. No need to be sorry. I am just very angry. Maybe I can help you with something while you call for a tall truck so that can help out? True thing. I'll call a tall truck and meanwhile you can help me carry some crates inside the cemetery. Just place me on the pallet. Thank you, Anne. And like severe brain juice. Like really, really. No. I'll be out of there in absolutely no like second. I wouldn't even think about it. I'll be out. I'll be walking. Well, depend on the, how the closest city is. I don't know. I would just uh, I would just come to him with like a knife or something and just like stay away from me. That's a very ridiculous task at the moment. There's like three boxes over there. I have to go there at least twice. Like go around, get the crates, go around again. Why? That's a... Uh, I, I don't like it. And I have to pick, up, uh, pick them up in order. I see that there is a reason, okay. Donnie? Can you stop staring at me, you fucking weirdo? Did you call for help? Did you call the police? A tow truck? Maybe two? Of course he didn't. Oh my. I don't like this at all. I don't, I don't like when main characters in video games are just playing stupid. Can I use this? Can I open his door? Donnie! What the fuck are you doing in there? Mom, why do you have to be buried in a cemetery that is a freaking weirdo out? You're not gonna be looking at me, right? You're not gonna be looking at me. Are you gonna be- are you gonna be looking at me? Donnie? Creepy bitch. I'm going over there. I don't care. You stupid. I'm not gonna do what you think I'm gonna do. I'm going to come around. I'm going to come from a place that you least expect. Bucket of bloated bones. Yeah, dear. Dear my ass. Here you go, Donnie. You did not expect me to come from this side, did you? Of course you did not. I am unexpected. Donnie! Donnie, I don't like how unexpected you also are. What is taking him so long? We should check up Robert in the shed. Oh yeah, his name was Robert, right? I'm just gonna keep calling him Donnie, fuck this shit. Hey, Donnie! What in the actual fuck is this? Oh, probably the last dude. Oh, he locked me in here. Lovely. There is a log 37. I caught another victim. Just like any other day, I was working down in the basement when I heard something upstairs. I got up, looked outside, and saw a man. Very handsome man. Instantly, I imagined how he would look lifeless and cold on my bed. He had no clue what was about to happen. I took a battery from his car while he was visiting someone in the cemetery. As usual, I offered help in exchange of company. Once he entered the shed, I used my cleaver to stab his head and continuously kept hitting him. I was so arousing, but nothing compared to what I did to him in bed. Ew. 
Yeah, nothing compared to completely murdering him. What is this? Aha! Because this is very locked. A cycle locked the door! There must be another way out. Yeah, I found the other way out. I would also love to grab this as a protection weapon, but <laughs> like we talked about it before, you're very dumb and I need to find a way out. Maybe find something to open the door upstairs. I should look around. You're gonna end up dead. That's what's gonna happen to you. How is this underneath a cemetery? Where are they burying the bodies? How far down am I? Are the bodies on top of me? Because if they are, then this should have been like really well done. So then like all the body stuff is not like dripping through the ceiling. Oh look, all car batteries and stuff. Of course you don't want one, right? And Okay, I'm going to ignore the absolute lack of sense of a basement going underneath the cemetery, but whatever. Look at all those uh, bodies. Ah, maybe there is no bodies in here, you know? Maybe you just tell them that you're gonna bury them, but that you just bring them here. So in technicality, there is no bodies buried in here. In here. And it's also the smallest... Oh, look. Ladder. Thank you. Why did I get that? Maybe that's from the front? In case I find something to open that door with? Can I put this here? No. I... No. I perpetually have a ladder now. There we go. Good. Now I need to find something to open the upstairs door. A key, maybe. You had a machete. Not machete, you had an axe. You know what you can do with an axe in, in a wooden door? Hit your head against it. Right, turn the head, hit it on your head. At least you die on your own terms. What can I say? And and it's, and it's dumb. Oh, look at that. I, oh, a whole living room. With tapes. Sam. Liam. Maria. I think this guy just cuts to all the sides. Chris, Nancy, David, Brian. Uh, a huge key. This will open the door upstairs. What is that sound? Well, probably him coming. I don't think I can watch any of those, but I got a key. What up? <laughs> I imagine that you came here to kill me, but the thing is, there is no way around you. Like, there's zero way around you. Donny. Donny, there is no way that I can run around you. Like, zero way that I can run around you. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oops. Press R to try again. <laughs> sure. Again, there is no way around him, even if it's just like, come this way, you know? It's like, let's say that I get the giant key and then I try to go around him. How do I do that? Hmm. It's a shame that I cannot really uh, watch the tapes. Or maybe not a shame. Maybe it's a good thing that I cannot watch the tapes. Maybe the tapes are. You know, dirty shit. Dirty shit. Yeah. What up, Daddy? Can he go that way or something? Where is he? Oh, there he is. 
Did he see me? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, somehow I went behind him. Ain has survived the catastrophic situation she was put in by a miracle. After escaping the basement, she ran towards the road. Luckily, someone had stopped the car and offered help. Immediately, the police were called and they arrived at the scene later that day. Investigators checked every corner of the cemetery and found no trace of the man named Robert or Donnie. The body bags in the basement were examined. Some were identified as people who have been missing in the nearby town for six months. Ah, sorry, I should have finished reading that. The days were not recovered. This unseen nature of the threat made the police even more uncomfortable. For now, the investigation is ongoing. Ask for credits. Huh. Nice. I liked it. It was not bad. It was not bad at all. I really liked it. About the character being stupid, that's basically normal in any horror situation. I think I mentioned in another game that I played. Like, smartness and horror do not go together in the same game. You cannot find a character that is intelligent and in a horror situation at the same time. So, it makes sense. <laughs> but talking about the game itself, the game was good. I really liked it. I really actually really liked it. It was fun to play. Very fun to play. Very cool story. I like that also the villain was a person and not a demon or ghost or whatever. It's also good because it can happen anywhere. All the time. It happens every time. So pretty good game. Really liked it. Anyway, if you also liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day.